we live in a society to where there's very little caring about other people. And I say that not necessarily in this room. I say this outside these walls to where there's confrontations, all the news is negative, you don't see much positivity. Obviously customers are gonna have a lot more stressors that they normally did five years ago. And we normally as a retail store are gonna feel that brunt. We see it in my dad's company, my brother's company. We see it in my friend's companies that own it. It's nationwide, it's not just us. As the stressors in your life raise, everyone wants to take the regression out on us, even though maybe their kid got yelled at at school by their principal, well, that's now our fault. Maybe they're going through a divorce, that's our fault. Everything becomes our fault. So you have to essentially stick to our rules and regulations and our processes that we teach and not deviate away from that. Some things that I wanna make sure we're not doing is setting expectations that are not able to be met. There's nothing worse than bad news. We all have to deliver bad news. I have to deliver bad news to you guys. There's things getting canceled. There's containers not being able to find, but the number one thing we're not going to do is tell a customer what they want to hear. So in two or three days later, they're pissed off. We had a very, very big issue with that in the past and we alleviated some of that recently, but there's nothing worse than just trying to get someone off the phone Tell them what they want to hear because you're scared to break bad news to them. If you can't break bad news to them, then I need to educate you a little bit more, but you need to find someone that can break that bad news. Hey, your unit's on the truck. Unless you're 100% positive it's on the truck, do not tell a customer it's on the truck because that's what they hear and then that's now gospel. And then two days later, where is it? Oh, it's in production. Well, why'd you lie to me? Like we're not gonna lie to customers. It might not be the best news. We might be dealing with economy shortages and although people think COVID is done, although it's not, the shortages are still there. Factories are still closed. China and other countries are still closed. That's why Walmart's going to self-checkout now only. They're not gonna have any people there. The reason is because people can't find people and people can't find products. So we're not gonna tell customers what they wanna hear. We have to break the bad news. If I say, hey, listen, this has been delayed four weeks with some military training, I'm telling you the truth. And although the truth might hurt and a customer might get pissed off and leave a negative review because we are telling them the truth, I would rather be the company that is very, very open and honest with our customers than being shady like everyone else that we, we, we we talk at the sales at the, at the time of the sale, we're very good at selling them the product because we tell them the truth. But then as soon as the issue happens, what we're doing is we're essentially cutting our legs off because we're trying to get them off the phone or we don't have an answer. It's okay to say, I'm not sure, but I'll find out in the next couple days. They might not be happy with the fact that they need to wait, but I don't want to lie and then it bites someone else in the ass or let's say says something, well now it's our problem. So you have to make sure you're being upfront. If you're not sure, don't give dates. Don't give delivery statuses. Don't give projections if you're not 100% positive. We talk about all the time is if there's a date that I'm giving, you can always pad it on something being arriving because there's always gonna be something that happens. But we need to get back in the habit of not just spewing out the mouth if you're not 100% positive. You don't need to give customers another reason to bash us online or come in and yell at us or, you know, they have enough reasons of outside of this company to do that. So I wanna make sure we're always being upfront and honest and you know, it, it's a good, there's a good way to kind of joke around with play with it and be like, hey, listen, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I know it's not the news that you want, but I'll tell you that I'm gonna be upfront with you because I'm a consumer first and I would want you to be honest with me. And you know, the reason we started this business and it's the truth is because of how open and honest people were in this industry and how shady it was. That's why both these companies were started.